Hi guys, look at you here, and this is Your Toast, a series dedicated to all things sliced bread. Today we'll be bringing out the big guns, gochujang and kazama garlic girl. Today we'll be making gochujang garlic bread. And if you've never added gochujang to your garlic bread, then oh, you're normal. Cause this is a trendy new way to spice up your garlic bread. And to make it extra comforting, we'll be adding mozzarella cheese on top. And oh, you know who else loves gochujang garlic bread? Not Miku because it's poisonous to her. So she says to get this video to 150 likes and she'll get rewarded with some juicy apple slices, which is a sweet delicacy for her. Now let's get gochujang garlic breading. So I'm strolling through Miku's butter shop and huh? Angry butter? What's that? You don't know what angry butter is? <laughs> no. Then I guess you're not a cool Gen Z like me. Excuse me? How dare you say that? I'll have you know, I am the coolest Ma'am? kid. Huh? Don't be salty. It's just butter. W what do you mean? Oh, wait. Are you saying this is just salted butter? Yes. After that trip to Miku's butter shop, I bought myself some unsalted softened butter, or shall I say happy butter. And if you're lucky to find them individually wrapped, then I'm jealous. Cause here in Canada, we don't have sticks of unsalted butter. We gotta cut them ourselves. Plop one cup or two sticks of unsalted butter into a bowl and loosen it up with a spatula. I use the cheapest butter I can find. There's no need to splurge on the $12.99 New Zealand grass fed butter because the garlic and gochujang are the universe of the show. Now that our butter is soft and luscious, we gotta finely mince six cloves of garlic. I prefer finely minced garlic when pairing it with gochujang because grated garlic will overpower the gochujang flavor. Anyways, I like to drag the minced garlic along the cutting board with my knife to release some aromas and juices, plopping the garlic into our glorious face cream and oh, it's looking a little dull right now. So let's add a pop of greenery with some parsley. You want the flat ones like our six pack abs before we devour our gorgeous loaf of gochujang garlic bread. Italian parsley. Do not get the curly parsley, okay? Because stranger danger curly merly. Thank you. Shazam in two teaspoons of our finely chopped Italian parsley. And of course, the star of the show, gochujang. I'm using a slight hot version. Because even though I'm a spicy girl, my family isn't as big of a spicy girl as I am. And sometimes, you know, we gotta compromise for the people we love. Plop a quarter of a cup of this sweet and spicy chili paste into our garlic butter and then we're gonna do a little mixy mix we're gonna do a little mixy mix the swirly pattern of gochujang and butter sort of reminds me of planet jupiter and look at that gorgeously buttery and delicious spread we have so delicious i could eat a whole bowl of it as a midnight snack uh which i've never done before because that is too delicious and will clog your arteries now since gochujang is already quite salty do a little tasty taste and see if you need any more salt I'm gonna add in an eighth of a teaspoon of it just to bring out a little more flavor. And now that we have our glorious gochujang garlic butter, it's time for the bread. But not just any bread, okay? I'm using French loaf bread. You can also use the Italian loaf, aka panna di casa, like my Italian. <laughs> The Italian loaf is much more crusty, similar to a baguette, whereas the French loaf is much more pillowy and soft. So it's up to your personal preference. My loaf is around the length of my forearm and the width of Miku's head, or around 15 by six inches for all my precise stands. I'm gonna slice this thick piece of bread horizontally with a serrated knife. That's a knife with sharp pointy teeth like me. Try to slice it in the middle and make it as level as possible so we can nap on it later. Slam dunk the gochujang garlic butter 
on each bread pillow slice, making sure to generously coat it all the way, edge to edge. If you're using a narrow loaf, such as a French baguette, you better have the ingredients of the gochujang butter. A nice trick I learned in garlic bread school, okay, is that if your hands aren't greasy, and coated in butter by the end of this butter spread sesh, then you're not slathering on enough. I mean, but it depends on how much you love butter. If you have any leftover gochujang garlic butter, no worries, you can use it as face cream or toss it with some spaghetti for a quick gochujang garlic butter pasta meal. And since I'm a cheesy girl, I'm gonna liven it up with some mozzarella cheese. Three cups of it shredded using the big hold shredder, not the mini hole because smaller shreds will make the cheese burn quicker when baking in the oven. Sprinkle, sprinkle a cup and a half of the cheese onto each garlic pillow. But who am I kidding? Do people even measure cheese? Actually, something I learned in cheese school is once you think you're done sprinkling the cheese, sprinkle a little more because oh, it's never enough in the end. Place them onto a baking tray lined with aluminium foil, shiny side up. Does the shiny side or dull side matter? Probably not, but I like to think it does. Slide them into an oven preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 205 Celsius for 20 to 25 minutes. Let's take a little peek. Oh, looking nice and bubbly. 25 minutes is up. So let's grab our hot potato tray with my gorgeous baseball mitts. Do you like them? Let's garnish it off with a pinch of our fresh parsley, sprinkle sprinkling it on top of the hot garlic bread. Let's chop our cheesy garlic pillow into rectangles and oh, look at you. The cheese is cooked perfectly, nice and melty, and has a perfectly golden brown cheesy pattern going on with the crispy and crusty edges of the loaf. And there we have it, gochujang garlic bread, cheesy style. And while the loaves are still hot, let's dig in. All right, so this is the finished product, and I'm super excited. Oh, first bites for you. Mm, nom nom nom. Mm. It's thundering outside, but it's snowing. <laughs> when you first take a bite, you get hit with that lovely garlic flavor, as well as a hint of spice from the gochujang. Then you chew a little and you reach that sweet and savoriness of the gochujang. A hint of chili pepper flavor. As you can see, the butter soaked nicely. The cheese is like a warm hug since it cooled down. There's no cheese pull, but still delicious. Mmm! Since gochujang is slightly sweet, it gives a nice hint of sweetness. Not too overpowering though, so if you're not a fan of sweet and salty, you'll still like this. And this is a perfect way to use up your gochujang. All right, so this gets look at you stamp of approval. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post once a week and I'll see you guys next time. All right, Queen Miku on her throne. Eat. Oh, 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 oh. Helps with the antioxidants. Good for her eyes. Nice and healthy. And if you're still here, comment, I smell like garlic bread to confuse everyone. <laughs>